the two major headlines involving the White House tonight. First Lady Melania Trump walking out alone today and outlining her new initiative. And then the president joining her, signing a proclamation to mark the day. The president also fighting back tonight after his attorney, Rudy Giuliani, said he could not promise that the president would not plead the fifth instead of sitting down with Robert Mueller. Here's ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega tonight. The first lady alone today as she walked into the Rose Garden to unveil her official policy platform. Her focus, helping children, in part by combating cyberbullying, a campaign called Be Best. Let us teach our children the difference between right and wrong and encourage them to be best in their individual paths in life. As she implored people to be kind, her husband right there in the front row, later joining her on stage with a kiss. A show of affection with their marriage under fierce scrutiny amid mounting questions about hush money paid to porn star Stormy Daniels just 11 days before the election. And now the president's attorney telling George Stephanopoulos it's possible other women were paid off too by President Trump's longtime fixer and personal lawyer. Did Michael Cohen make payments to other women for the president? I have no knowledge of that, uh, but I, I, I would think if it was necessary, yes. Today we press the White House for details. Is that possible? Are there other women out there who receive money from the president to stay quiet? I, I'm not aware of any uh, other activity, but I would refer you to uh, Rudy Giuliani to respond to any of those questions. But you've been in his circle for a long time now. You were on the campaign. Is that anything that came across your desk? Uh, again, I'm not aware of anything like that. Rudy Giuliani said he still doesn't have all the facts, and he did little to clear up one big question whether the president was lying last month on Air Force One when he said he knew nothing about that payment to Daniels. Did you know about the $130,000 payment to Tony Daniels? Giuliani's focus? Special counsel Robert Mueller. The prospect of a presidential interview now seeming increasingly dim. I'm going to walk him into a prosecution for perjury like Martha Stewart did? Despite President Trump's insistence on the campaign trail that only guilty people plead the fifth, you see, the mob takes the fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? Giuliani says the fifth is on the table for the president. Are you confident the president will not take the fifth in this case? Oh, how could I ever be confident of that? That is, if he decides to comply at all. What, what? happens if Robert Mueller subpoenas the president? Will you comply? Well, uh, we don't have to. He's the president of the United States. Let's get to Cecilia Vegas. She's live at the White House tonight. And Cecilia, President Trump tweeting about Robert Mueller today, but also about the Iran nuclear deal. The president promising a big announcement tomorrow. 2 p.m. tomorrow here at the White House, he says, David, remember, this is the deal that he promised to tear up. European allies have been on a mission to try to convince him to stay in this deal. You'll remember French President Emmanuel Macron was here at the White House trying to convince President Trump in person. The Brits made a last-ditch effort, even sending someone on to Fox News, hoping President Trump might hear their case. Well, one European diplomat tells us tonight, David, it seems pretty obvious President Trump will exit this deal. All right, we'll be watching with you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Cecilia. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.